Wait, are you singing already? Good morning. Sorry, I'm burdening you with my vocal cords. We're staying at the Nomo Soho, as recommended by Megan Tonjes and our friend Ryan. It's cool. It's the rooms are small, but I feel like you're gonna get that anywhere in New York. So it's about noon, and we're gonna go get some walk to walk, my favorite restaurant. For when we were in Amsterdam, I ate there like every I've day. I've been waiting for four long years to be reunited Are you with you. Excited for your Chinese breakfast. Yes, <laughs> it's like this was meant to be. We both like that really popular cheese thing. Yes. And this says "Love your own way," but all it really means is that only two of these people get love. Nobody else does. Everyone else does not deserve it. But he has a strange fetish as well. I am so excited. You have no idea. I even asked Phil when he was here last time to send it to me. <laughs> yeah? You didn't romanticize it? It's like a great comfort food. It's not no pan extra. It's just some real wok fried. Amazing. Got some good food and now in the Bronx, We're going to check out where Phil grew up. We're back in the Bronx with it Billy D. Way. He lived right down that way at Marion and Bedford Park. It's just exciting even for me to see where he grew up because it's so different. I think you're more excited. I'm just, I feel very, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just cool to see like, because it's so different from how I grew up and it's so different from how we live now. And so, I don't know, every part of your growing up makes you who you are. And so, uh, it's special, it's cool. I don't know, I'm getting emotional. Why am I getting emotional? I just love him so much. Look at my hot date. Look at my hot date. How's my hat? So <laughs> good. Look Sorry, I'm gonna just go over here so people can see with the real show. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so today was fun. We explored. We went to the Bronx. If you want to be married to me, you have to say the Bronx. No, that's like when people say Hot Lana. It's so annoying. Hot Lana. No, it's just different. Anyway, so oh, I was talking so much. I got so heated. And then we uh, went to a little trade center site. And then we grabbed a drink at this place called was it View of the View of the World Terrace. Yeah. Met some funny people. Yeah, they were great. <laughs> they were very nice. Now, we're gonna grab a drink and go see Hamilton. Yeah. All today I've been saying, we're gonna go see Hamlet. Look at that. I have like a piece of skin that's like on my cheek. Here, let's see if we can see it. No, ew, 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 ew. Do you see it? I'm gonna just say you guys. Oh my god. Do you see it? No. Oh. That's weird. <laughs> you guys, we're here. It's happening. Uh -oh. Are you gonna? I think you're. Focusing? Hey, he's the real star now. <laughs> We're back home! Hamilton was amazing. We'll talk about it more later. But right now, this is the most important part train! <laughs> Got him his own airplane. When, when it makes that sound, you go up. You go. <gasps> that might be the most irritating sound of any toy he has. Amazing know. trip. Not too tired. The flight is good. I didn't realize how long the flight is back. It's five hours and 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we might as well be going to Europe from New York. Hey kids, with the last video, I said I was splitting into two because I wanted Phil and I to review Hamilton together. And I forgot to film it until now, the night before I post this next vlog. Oh, so you want me to help? Yeah, I was gonna come up there, but I'm really comfortable. What did you think? Amazing. Did it live up to your expectations? Yeah, in general, the whole thing was like amazing. Amazing. It gave me a new respect for songs that on the soundtrack, I was like, oh, those are kind of okay. Yeah. And then the, the performance, blown away. All of the actors were absolutely incredible. Uh, Lafayette slash Thomas Jefferson was my favorite. The energy, the comedic timing, the rapid, it was so good. I mean, everyone was good. But that was like spot on. I feel like he had an advantage though, because he got to play like two really big energy characters, whereas yeah. uh, the dude that played Hercules then yeah. got to play like a Madison. Really, yeah, toned down Madison. Yeah, but it was just good. And we like, I don't know, I grew up going to see musicals. My mom and I would go to New York 
every summer, every other summer, and I would see musicals, and I liked them, but I liked this one a lot because it was hip hop, it was different. So I didn't have that same upbringing. Uh, I didn't experience a play actually, a, or a musical until we went to Pantages for Avenue Q, or no, Book of Mormon, then Avenue Q. Uh, and then, uh, and now this. Way. Oh, well, that. <laughs> it doesn't then, matter. But I would say, if you can get in, I know they do like a lottery. I, I, if you like, if you Google Hamilton lottery, yeah. they give away tickets now and then. And uh, I saw like a bunch of people that follow us. I went to their Twitter timelines, and they were like, Hamilton lottery, going for it again. It's just, it's so different than any musical I've seen before, just because of the hip hop element. Telling a story about not even one of our presidents. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the, just... the creation of our country, the creation of our treasury. And he created the Coast Guard. No, but it's a, and, 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 no. and if you listen to the, sorry, I got called out for calling it a soundtrack. It's a cast recording. Mm -hmm. My bad. I'm not in this world yet. Each time I listen to a, one of the songs, I pick up new things. But I would say, though, to that to that point, uh, people haven't been too snobby yet. In fact, if anything, no. people like are excited by the idea of more people being into musicals. Mm -hmm. And so it's like very more uh, just very welcoming rather than uh, what you would normally think of musical theater and and think like just snobby people going oh look at those those people think that they can enjoy it well not even just musical theater just something that's a very niche hobby or interest and you want to get into it they're like you don't even know you like this now that's cool uh, I like this before did you recommend cool. this as well Lynn manuels previous Musical. I have not listened to it yet. Oh, so yeah, so Sam said it's amazing. In, a lot of people have recommended it. In the Heights it. was his first one. So anyways, but they're going on tour too. Also, we paid full tickets for these seats. We didn't get any favor. We, we paid full tickets. We paid full price for these tickets. Why are you mentioning that? Because I don't, I feel like we're praising it so much. And I was about to say, oh. they're going on tour. They're going to Chicago and oh, San Francisco yeah, no, and okay, LA. Wait. So if that, that's the point, yeah, this is not a sponsored <laughs> thing. I literally, I think we both fell in love with the first song at the Grammys, then listened to the soundtrack, and we were like, I don't want to wait till 2017. And we don't, I feel like, well, I don't know about you. I don't know about this business. But I feel like I don't, uh, I'm very prudent with my money most of the time. Unless Lindsay kind of bitch, me on. please. No, it's a good I thing. I say we spend money on experiences. You spend it on cameras and TV. No, and I and you know what? I think the longer I'm with you, I respect experience over things. Yes. Let's put it in perspective. We were gonna go to Tokyo for our anniversary, but we actually ended up spending all that money on our New York trip just to see this. That's how much we wanted to see it. So, no Tokyo, but we got to see Hamilton. Anyway, so yes, loved it. Lived up to our expectations. It was awesome. Also, people want to know what happened at the end of the last video when you said, uh oh. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Did the video did stop? Yeah. I might have been attacked by ninjas and then I fought them off. <laughs> or someone might have just said a racial slur at me. At you? Hey, Wait. why do you get out of Soho? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, DeFranco fam. I'm gonna be the, uh, the mouthpiece right now. <laughs> Lindsay Boo is tired and cold. We got off. We got off. We got off on the wrong exit of the train by about a mile. <laughs> so we're walking. Lindsay's not a big fan. 